and I'm back. On my last visit to the New York State Office Building, I was deprived of my First Amendment rights under color of law. I was attacked by a security goon working for Wisdom Security Services, and my phone was violently smacked out of my hand. If you haven't seen that, I'll provide a link. It was pretty fucked up. I took the time to report the incident to the police and clear up some confusion with building security about the right to record in public. I put the building superintendent and the New York State Office of General Services on notice and gave them a few days to implement changes and educate their personnel. And now it's time to return to the building to check to see if the New York State Office of General Services will respect our rights. How do you think they're going to do? If you enjoy my content and feel like what I do is important, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. But really, why not? Are you sure? Who's your supervisor? Bring him. Bring him right here. Ugh, I was really hoping they'd do better this time. It's only been four days since my last visit. Wisdom Protective Services really needs to do a better job in training their officers, but ultimately I'll also hold New York State responsible for what's happening here. Bring him right here. Is that Larry? What's going on, Larry? Listen, just coming back to check on my building, make sure you guys have been properly trained and educated. This guy tried to deprive me of my civil rights. We're okay to film in here, right? Can you please instruct your personnel? It's okay. Anybody who wants to film can film in here. So Don't give anybody a hard time, understood? Let me put that there so we get your beautiful face. How are you doing today? Hey, what's your name, sir? You work for Simran? I work for Wisdom. Wisdom. All right, yes, Simran sir. Corporation. What's your name, please? What is your name? You just acted in your official capacity and instructed your personnel to tell me to stop filming. I'd like to know your name. I'll get Larry. Hey, let's try this again, sir. I asked you for your name. Are you going to provide your identification or not? Do you want to call Larry, we're, this is, we're doing more training of Simran's people. He works for you, right? What? I asked him for his name. He refuses to identify. You want to tell me who he is? Do I? You asked his name? His name is which one? The guy just here? The guy who's just here. Yeah. Yep. Why is it so hard for your officers to identify themselves? I don't know. Okay. Back, uh, yeah, what's I'm going back. on? How are you? This guy is great. He is the, the coolest. Smoothest Harry Belafonte motherfucker. What happened? The phone That's wasn't good answer. enough, huh? No, I don't. No, it's, he's a handsome guy. What are you talking about? How Listen. are you? What's going on, Mr. Frank? I have my GoPro going as I walk through security. Mm -hmm. Immediately triggered these guys. Immediately we went to, you don't have any rights in this building. And I thought we had this all worked out. Yeah. It's just making them nervous, I'm sure, with all the cameras going and everything like that. Look at all the cameras in this place. Uh, I didn't have this going. I didn't, mm. All I have was this on. Anyway, look. I'm here to do business. Okay. I'm hoping my rights aren't going to get violated again Nobody today. Nobody would never do that. I don't know. It seems like you guys are zero for zero. I mean, every time I come in here, I get my rights violated. Yeah, Let's fine. see what happens this time. All right? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. By the way, yes. you are a YouTube star. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We can go in motor vehicles with that. Though. We're going to test that, too. No, you can't no. do that. I don't think, Why not? I think this... Are you sure? You were Yes. Good? You guys were very sure last week. That's I tell you it. what I'm gonna do. You gonna get online? Maybe. We'll Maybe. see. Right now, I'm just observing. Let me make the phone call. You don't need to do that. I'm gonna. I would prefer that you, I would prefer that you don't, so that we see what the natural reaction is. But you do what no, you gotta do. No, don't don't do that to them, man. You know we don't keep people. Like they're working, man. Who's working? DMV, man. Yeah, they're, they're working. Do me a favor. They're working for me. Wait, wait, and wait. They're working for me, you. Wait, Frank. Do me a favor. I think. Your rights are protected in a common space. Inside the public space, I think that's I haven't gone in there yet. No, no, I'm just saying, I don't think you can do that. If I can, I'll get arrested. 
No, Frank, don't do that. <laughs> Come on, man, it's cool. Don't worry. I'm not here to make a big deal. Honestly, well, I wasn't no. gonna take this out until All right. Baker started getting. But wait, wait, wait. Let me just let me just find out. I don't think you could really go in that space because it's private. This is common space. This is public. That is different. I don't think. underestimate. Me. I'm just, no, I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm, here make, I'm not here to make trouble. No, I no, understand no. the doctrine. Do you think it's the first time I've walked into a DMV? No, I'm just it's trying not. to make sure that I am 100% clear. And that you can go into that space yes. recording? Yes. They, they may really? believe otherwise. Their feelings may believe otherwise, but I have, I have written authorization to go in there. Can I see it? Yeah. United States Constitution, First Amendment. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I'll see you around. And here we see why I wanted to exercise my rights to begin with. Last week, New York State began allowing illegal aliens to apply for driver's licenses. And ever since, at DMVs across the state, law-abiding citizens like me, who pay taxes and are legally in this country, are being subjected to this, being corralled up like cattle, and being required to wait for over four hours to obtain a registration which I'm legally required to pay for. I expect more from my state. And regardless of what your opinion is about the controversy, there's a story here to be told, and I was stopped from telling it the way I attempted to the other day. That's what got this started. Hey, you notice that cop? He's here for me. Yes, I need to register a car. Hi, wait, I'm out with Officer Rella. What's your badge number? 6716. Thanks, Officer. She's very professional and kind of cute. <gasps> She's been called out to... What? Called out by employees here asking that if you are going to videotape here, if you could just respect people's privacy, their private documents, you could just respect that. Okay, let me get this straight now. So the DMV called law enforcement on me because I had a camera and was doing nothing illegal. And the 4th Precinct actually sent out officers. Did the Office of General Services have anything to do with this, maybe? Warren did say he was going to call the DMV to warn them that I was coming. Yeah, let me make a phone call. So I wonder what they told the police I was doing. Um, did they tell them I was doing something illegal or maybe creating a disturbance? I'll have to make a public records request for that call, I guess. When exercising freedom of the press results in police visits and altercations with silly security guards, it has a chilling effect. Each one of these incidents is a violation of my civil rights, but when looked at collectively, we can see a regular pattern of disregard for the law. Now I'm trying real hard to remain polite because this officer approached me nicely and demonstrated no aggression, but why is it that when cops get a bullshit call for service, they feel the need to issue instructions and directives? It's bad enough that they showed up, but they should just leave. You do understand we're in a public building, right? Yes, I do. There is no expectation of privacy in public. Right. People's documents are private. So what's going to happen if I was to accidentally film somebody's document, or on purpose film somebody's documents? We're just asking if you can Asking, okay. Privacy. That's all. We're I'm asking you to respect the First Amendment to the Constitution and advise you that I'll continue to exercise my rights without any concern for anybody's privacy, because there is none here. Okay. Cool? Like said, that's all that we're Thanks, Rella. I appreciate you. <laughs> no worries. Thanks a lot. Take care. Hey, excuse me. Is filming allowed in here? Is filming allowed in here? Am I allowed to film in here? Oh, what's your name? What's your name? Do you like? Just want to know what Jeff's up to. Watching my tax money at work. Hey, did you see your video, man? You saw it? What do you think? Yo, if I put this camera in my pocket, can I talk to you offline? If I put this camera away, can I talk to you? No? Okay. 